Get every light us out Already got you on Don't stop by the road Get every light us out Already got you on Don't stop by the road The marijuana industry continues to grow in New York State. Within days, the first round of retail licenses will be up for grabs. And in the first round, the city wants to make sure underserved black and brown communities get first dibs. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch explains how it will work. For too long, these communities have faced high rates of drug-related incarcerations, and they have been denied opportunities to build wealth. That's a terrible combination, and today we're dismantling that combination. Inside Medgar Evers College, the first CUNY institution to offer a minor in cannabis education, Mayor Adams announced the launch of Cannabis NYC, a program he says is designed to reinvest in those who were justice involved. It's about setting the foundation of equity. Non-traditional players are usually left out. And that is what we're trying to change here. We're talking about billions of dollars and countless, countless jobs. The program, the brainchild of Kevin Kim, Commissioner of Small Business Services. The city's first ever services, all at no cost and in multiple languages, to help aspiring, justice-involved entrepreneurs apply for the state's first retail license. If you or a close family member had a marijuana arrest or conviction before March 31st, 2021, and you've been an owner or a partial owner of a profitable business for two years or more, you may be eligible to apply for this first round of licenses. Jeffrey Garcia, co-founder of Latino Cannabis Association, says members are excited to get assistance from the city. This is about not just getting people licenses, but really helping them build businesses, right, and generational wealth. Turning cannabis into an opportunity for economic prosperity. From Prospect Lefferts Gardens in Brooklyn, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Now, Commissioner Kim says one main goal is to help those involved in the unregulated cannabis industry transition into the licensed market. Meanwhile. One thing for sure, one law that was passed is clearly being practiced right now because I smell some weed. Someone is smoking. <laughs> Someone is smoking. <laughs> you smell that, you smell that, Marsha? Moments later. Raids on illegal cannabis shops could be coming to the five boroughs. A task force with the mission of shutting them down hit two dozen today. And it wasn't just marijuana they found. News Force Andrew Siff is at City Hall right now with the mayor, where the mayor says uh, today's raids are just a drop in the bucket. Officers filling evidence bags with unlicensed cannabis products. A surprise raid at the new city smoke shop today in Lower Manhattan. One of nearly two dozen similar stings across the city today. I mean, you got to follow the rules, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. Mayor Eric Adams said the reason the city hadn't acted sooner, they were prevented by state law until lawmakers changed the language this spring. These shops have become magnets for crime and disorder, and it has impacted on our quality of life. Now the sheriff can supervise an NYPD operation, and that's what happened today as deputies and officers seized illegal mushrooms, flavored vapes, and unlicensed cannabis. Day one of a raid officials promise will get bigger. Our operations will continue to expand to address the the total number of shops that are illegally operating in the city. But the sheriff acknowledges it will take time to make a real dent with nearly 3,000 illegal shops in the city. Just yesterday, police investigating a worker stabbed at a smoke shop in Harlem. And we're seeing more and more acts of violence at smoke shops. Some New Yorkers tired of complaining about the shops, happy to see the cease and desist letter today in Lower Manhattan, not to mention the padlock. Hey, why do I got to pay taxes? Why do you got to pay taxes? Why does he got to pay taxes? You want to operate a, a legit operation? Pay your taxes. But some wonder if the shuttered shops will just quickly reopen. City Hall says this time there's a $10,000 fine and they have to get a judge to sign off on a reopening plan. 
All this as the state continues to be slow about rolling out the licenses for legal cannabis shops. In Lower Manhattan, Andrew Siff, News 4 New York. One thing for sure, one law that was passed is clearly being practiced right now because I smell some weed. Someone is smoking. <laughs> Someone is smoking. <laughs>